YouTube. This is a quick video on product from Hamilton Beach, not affiliated or sponsored. Uh, I just like making videos of things that I find work really well <clears throat> and like posting them on uh, YouTube uh, that hopefully other people might find use of them as well. Anyway, this is a steamer and um, it works awesome. It's the fourth time I've used it. Right now I'm steaming hard boiled eggs. Um, you can do, I have a dozen in there. So these d different trays, um, mine came with three. I'll show you that. <clears throat> so essentially has, this is for rice. Um, among other things, you could steam rice in here. And essentially, try to do this one, one more, sorry. <clears throat> so as you can see, this, is separate. You can see these little spots. These are what the eggs just sit upright in uh, and just rest on those. And you can see all the steam can come through the holes. Um, this is one of these layers, as you can see. So mine has three layers. There's, I got this on Amazon. Uh, you can buy the two layer or the three layer. I opted for the three layer because I saw, let's say you wanted to steam like corn in the cob. You could place them all standing straight on end like this, a whole bunch of them in here, and steam them all at the same time. Usually I used to make mine on the grill, um, you know, with whatever I was cooking, but sometimes if you're cooking a lot, you can't fit all the corn on there and everything else at the same time. I mean, this is perfect for that. <clears throat> and essentially, just, you just put water in here. There's a little line inside that tells you how much to put, so you don't put too much. Um, and this is also a water level, so you can see where the level's at right here. Um, let's say you were steaming something and you needed to add more, again, because you can watch where the level is. It has this little compartment right here, I haven't tried it yet, that pulls out. I'll try to do it again with one hand, it only goes so far. And if you had something with like a spout or whatever, like a, you know what I mean, just measuring cup with water, you can dump the water in here so you don't have to remove all these trays and that just goes right into the reservoir at the same time. Um, really simple to use, basically. Um, it comes with a book for all the different things that you can cook and I had, I'm steaming my eggs for 22 minutes. It says 20 minutes is fine. I've just been doing 22 and then I leave them sitting in here for about 10 more minutes this turns off. It's got eight minutes left, as you can see. And then I have a thing of water ready to go right here. I'm gonna put some ice in it um, in a few minutes and then just give it an ice bath for like 10 minutes. And then I'm just gonna save this. Just got this at Market Basket. Um, and I'm gonna put all the hard boiled eggs in here. And when I'm ready to eat them, just crack them. And <clears throat> they come off really easy, the, uh, the shells doing it this way. I also started doing something on my own where I'll take, <clears throat> I take a, a spoon for all of you that hate peeling eggs. So I'll take a spoon, if I have an egg sitting here, just crack it once, peel a little bit off, and then I use the spoon and I get underneath it a little bit and I just keep following the egg <clears throat> and then peel it off and follow the egg and whatever. And I can get, <clears throat> you know, all of it off without removing any of the pieces of egg, which is what I used to hate. By the time I was done peeling eggs, <clears throat> there was like a quarter of the egg left, which kind of, you know, was a waste. Um, the spoon trick works great. <clears throat> Again, I just made that up myself. Like I said, you just tap the egg, peel a little, you know, a couple pieces off just so you can get this, the tip in there, and then just start following the egg with it. And you'll notice that it peels up really easy take those sections off and just keep going. I mean, it used to take me 10 minutes, probably five or more to peel one egg. I can do it with a spoon and, you know, under a minute. <clears throat> so just a little tip if you've never done that before. But again, with the three layers, it's nice because you, you won't use this. This will just be all three layers for the corn is what I'm saying. But if you want to steam three different things, you know, potatoes, greens, whatever you're gonna do, now you have three different layers. And again, if one thing's bigger than the others, you could have that centerpiece missing. 
let's say you had something larger in here, but then you just wanted to steam some potatoes up top. Again, that's what these are for. It just kind of hard to do. It has like these little spots that, that this thing has to sit on. Um, sorry. See that little spot right there? So that has to sit on that. There we go. And then it's like one solid piece. And then you just set things in it. Again, let's say you had all the, you know, greens or whatever in here, and you want to do some rice, that sits in there perfectly, and that's going to steam your rice. Um, so again, I don't work for these guys or anything. Um, a friend of mine actually told me about it, and because I wanted to be able to make a lot of hard-boiled eggs, they're just a great source of protein. Uh, if you're in, you know, in a rush or whatever, you can grab three or four, take them with you, eat them wherever, make a sandwich out of them, you know, you know what I mean. But just hard-boiled eggs are just awesome to have. Um, and that's how it works. So we got like five minutes left and I'm just gonna stick it in the ice bath and call it a day. Um, like I said, it has other settings that you can do. You can even set this thing, like you see right here, delay. So let's say you wanted to do the steaming, you know, before you get home. You could put all your stuff in here, let's say it was vegetables or whatever, and set it so that, you know, it's gonna have it all steamed and ready to go for you when you get home or whatever, you get the idea. Um, so it's awesome, it doesn't use a lot of water and um, I mean, you can see the water level, it has used some obviously. I didn't have it filled to the max, I just put water in there. And um, yeah, then I usually just empty the water out, clean it out, I mean, it takes a second, I just like literally rinse it out. If you don't and leave the water in here, you'll notice that this will stay looking like that for days. Uh, I did that the first time and the condensation doesn't go away because the water's in here and it's kind of trapped. Um, so, and the water didn't look that great today before I did this. So from now on, I'm just gonna empty this out, literally just dumping it out, rinse it out real quick. And it takes nothing to put water in it when you're about to use it. Again, these are off. You can just bring this whole thing over to the sink, fill it up. To the line and that's it i mean works fantastic does an excellent job on eggs yes i'm a little bit weird i wrote hard steamed eggs so because i have a couple other dozen eggs in the fridge and I, I don't want to confuse them with the ones that i steamed already um and i figured i was using a just like a ziploc bag but then i was like huh eh, why don't i just use this you know rather than throwing it out i mean it's it's good it's great so just gonna start using that and um, slide it back in the fridge and we're good to go. So that's all I got you guys. Just a quick video. I uh, wanted to tell you about something that I found works really good. And if you get any questions, comments, you know where to reach me on YouTube and see you in the next video. Thank you. Thanks YouTube.